I'm not kidding, for like two years, <laughs> I, I wore it to drop my daughter off to school. Yes. I yes. wore it to church. <laughs> Get out of town. Yeah. Nobody, and nobody, nobody, family nobody said, I guess. Hey, and then finally, I was, my buddy Michael comes up to me and he goes, Subscribe to the podcast, KFC Radio on YouTube. Bang. I get excited about guys coming back to see you and the swag. You guys have great swag. Yeah, oh, you like it? Wow, that cool. is quite a compliment. We, we, will, we will hook it up because you look like a stylish man here. I like this whole thing you got yeah. going on. Yeah. <laughs> Joy, yeah. It's not me. I, I, I looked at it and I was like, I look like a bad gap ad, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you said it's not you? Um, Are these all the notes about me? That's that's my book of <laughs> that, secrets. Listen, you want to? this is one of those books where it's like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> There's horrors in like there. The Hocus Pocus book. Yes, <laughs> yes. Which, by the way, uh, Hocus Pocus 2, right? Yeah. I just watched it. Um, I watched both for one and two with my. I've seen it a million times. My kids who are uh, six and four. Oh. And they just learned to like sit still for a whole movie. Uh -huh. And so this was the one. Did and your kids watch Toy Story? Uh, no. Okay. I have not watched Toy Story yet. Yeah. When they. Here, let me see your phone. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Just stay out of the phone reel. Let, let, let me see your camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a voice memo section. When they watch, I played, what's their names? Keegan and Shay. Keegan, Keegan and Shay. When they watch Toy Story 4, okay. I played this character Forky. Okay. So you have to t you have to play this for them. All right, and this is amazing. And yes, then, please. They're at the age, which is great, because they don't know human beings behind that voice. They <laughs> right. think it's really Forky. So yeah, you yeah, play yeah. This. Wait, so what's their names again? Keegan? Keegan and Shay. Okay, ready? Here we go. Hey, Keegan. Hey, Shay. This is Forky from Toy Story. <laughs> How's it going? Hey, I have heard you are the most amazing kids, and I just wanted to say hello. All right. I hope you have a great week. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you, man. That was awesome. That was unbelievable. We're gonna love that. It's I, I have bad point. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna save this right now. My my cheeks Holy hurt from shit. smiling already in this interview. This yeah. is unbelievable. Wouldn't so it be funny, funny if he was like, "You motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> stop bothering your dad." <laughs> <laughs> that monster on his bread is real. <laughs> 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 Don't awesome. look in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. I'm gonna email. Okay, gonna, we're water drinkers around here. <laughs> oh, we, uh, we got a lot of. Actually, you want, know what I just we did? Fresh one, we have fresh. I wonder if you find this disgusting. What's happening. So yeah. I just sat <laughs> down. We were just doing a, a different podcast, and I sat down, and there were three half drank waters in front of me. I don't know who any of them belong to, but I was like, might as well not waste them. So I just, just drank. Consolidate I just, them? No, I just drank them all. I just drank them all. I don't. We yeah. get. I don't, it's I wasn't, a good habit. Like in college, you don't leave any wounded soldiers behind. Oh. If there's a water bottle around, <laughs> I'll just drink it. Your hair's gotten long, man. Uh, it actually, it, it really has snuck up on What's me. What's the, the plan is to oh, go through. Uh, I think I'm just going to. What I do is, uh, is actually, I was on a, a podcast, uh, Chicks in the Office, which is a podcast a couple of girls have here. Yeah. And before the show, Rhea was like. So what's <laughs> what's going on? Like here? like your plan? She's like you go from like really clean cut to really, and I could tell her searching for a word that wasn't completely insulting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she goes rugged. <laughs> 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 and, and I was just like, yeah. In the winter, I kind of let shit go, and then in the summer, I clean it up. Yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah. You, I think I'm gonna go let buzz it go cut. And, then shave it? and I think I'm gonna go let it go and then buzz cut. You're it. gonna do a buzz cut. Yeah, buzz I haven't cut done a buzz is... cut probably since like little league. Yeah. See, when you get in your fifties, you never do a buzz cut. Yeah. Fifties. <laughs> your whole yeah, I'm fifty two. You hold Holy on to those shit. follicles like <laughs> they are just jewels. Uh, that absolutely. Is, that is my real fear. That's why I used to shave my head when I was. Yeah. Kid and I, not a kid, like twenties. I thought you started having shit in your head. <laughs> 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 I used to, I used to <laughs> shit my head. <laughs> I, but I used to love that feeling, <laughs> and it was nothing was on oh, your ears, so and was, you were never hot, and you know whatever. And then, but then like late twenties, early thirties, started to look at my hairline a little bit, and sure. I was like, if I shave it, I don't know if it's coming back. And yeah, I don't want to risk it. There's that when the young when you're shaving, you have the assurance. Like, yeah, this is gonna yeah, grow back. Yeah. You don't have that assurance. No. I don't have that assurance. I anymore. you look great. Thank you. I would yeah. never have guessed fifty, would you? Me? Yeah, I think you look fifty. <laughs> hey, you're old as fuck. I don't know if that's. A, I just don't think fifty's old at all. I think he's about all. to die soon. I think. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually maple syrup. Yeah. <laughs> this is whiskey, though. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh my god, that's marketing right there. <laughs> Beautiful. That right? looks like yeah. whiskey. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> people, are, people are getting into like for your pancakes. Like, oh right? what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, use it at breakfast. The whistle pig. <laughs> um, the um. What are you saying? Fifty is the new thirty. I just don't think 50 is old at all. Yeah, Here's not. what I think. Mm. I think, and I don't know yet. Just I'm, wait. I'm 38. <laughs> yeah. I'm almost 38. All right? Uh, yeah, something like well, that. you're 38. You're how old are you? 34. Okay. And uh, I think that my 30s were particularly shitty. Mm. I think 40s will probably be shitty too. Mm. And then I think 50s are cool. 
I think like twenties are cool because it's fun. I think <laughs> no, the, I think, I think the middle cool. is what sucks. When sure. you have kids would, and you're raising them and you're, uh-huh. and you're maybe, you're not like, by the time you're 50, God willing, if you've had like a good career, you're kind of at like the top almost, or, you know, you've really yeah, like yeah, established yeah. yourself. And then thirties and forties is like, man, I should be partner and I'm not, or whatever your various thing may be. Yeah. The thing, the challenge is as a 52 year old, old man, <laughs> the challenge is everything you just said is focused on career. Yeah. And that's, I think where, where it's kind of like, you know, bringing awareness to like how much power I'm giving to Oh, when I want to get to this place, because yeah. I think if you give it too much power, you're going to get there and be like, oh, what's next? Yes. Or it didn't, I didn't I've feel. I've noticed that a lot about myself and I yeah, think other people. It didn't feel the way I thought it was going to feel. Is... But it's the thing of like being present is the key. Yeah. Did you, you know? did you feel that? Cause like, I mean, I'm sure there's a point in time where you would be like, Man, to have made it on a sitcom of and Arrested be a Development. massive celebrity, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be the most famous man in the world. Yeah. But you would have been like, oh, my old self. I, I could have told you that was all I ever did, and I would yeah, be yeah, so yeah. satisfied. Yeah. But then you do it, and you're like, well, I want to do a movie, and now I want to yeah. do this. Yeah, and, and it's the thing of like in this business, uh, it's like you have value when this happens, and life. Yeah, you have value if you do this. The fact is, your value before success, before the success, was the same value sure. you have now. Yeah, that's yeah, the fact. That's really true, and that's what you have to remember. I actually wrote a book years oh. ago. <laughs> so fancy. By the way, guys, where's your monocle? I've got a, I've got a <laughs> memoir. No, it's a it's a book called Archibald's Next Big Thing. It was a long time ago, but it was about this little chicken who got a card in the mail that said, "Your big thing is here," and he's like, "Where?" And he goes on all these great adventures, but every time he's on an adventure, he's like, "I got to get to my next big thing." Mm, and this mm. bee comes along, and the bee's like, "You got to just be, man. You got to just be." <laughs> and then in the end, he realizes the card is right. Your big thing is here. Like my big thing is talking to you guys right now. That's my big thing. Oh, oh heavens! heavens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You had me right up until the end. I was like, "This is insightful," and I get this. And he's like, this is "Right now, my big thing is this stupid podcast." No, nope. very best. It's your medium. It thing. is <laughs> at the best. It is. You know what I, I think? And I, I I'm, I'm going to start a movement, and it's going to be kind of embarrassing. I think a, a lot of adults should read more children's books oh, because guess, yeah. that even just that right there was like, I was like, Oh, that makes more sense to yeah. me. Yeah. And then I was telling a story the other day about how my mom, um, I have a three week old nephew mm. and my mom got him a book um, called Frankie and Gloob. Mm. And I love the title. She handed it to me and she's like, you should read this. I think you'd like it. <laughs> and which I found incredibly insulting. <laughs> um, and she's like, you're Gloob. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know <laughs> I is. So Frankie and Gloob is Frankie is a, a young hippopotamus uh-huh. who uh-huh. Um, has a sad monster. Yeah. And that's Gloob. And it's about uh-huh. the books about depression and stuff so like that. So he's not sure, Gloob, yeah, but yeah, he has yeah. a Gloob. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> and it's about how uh, really I, I got to be honest uh, in the book. The advice isn't the best. Uh-huh. It is name your sad monster. So you have someone to fight an enemy which actually mm. isn't the worst idea gloob mm. is the sad monster and uh and the, the number two piece of advice is, is to dance a lot and <laughs> yeah and, and i i guess okay. that would work yeah, yeah i don't yeah. know when i when i'm having gloob in the room i don't really feel like dancing but i will but, say this what's interesting <laughs> is i did a play two years ago and it was like it was practically a one-man play because in the end somebody comes in but mostly <laughs> again mostly yeah. guys by the bt dubs <laughs> but it was it, it was kind of scary every every night i thought i was gonna have a panic attack in front of the crowd mm-hmm. it was like a thousand i was like i'm tonight's the night i'm gonna have a panic attack <laughs> and i remember there was always this anxious voice in me that's like get ready you're gonna go down you're gonna forget every line uh. you're just gonna lose your mind and i would all before i would always be like get out done um, i don't want to, but yeah. this time around this therapist would say hey why don't we start so i would start going i would start talking to that voice and i would say hey i appreciate you being here um i know you're trying to protect me i'm really i'm really thankful oh. for it i'm gonna why don't you sit here i'm gonna go do the show and, I'll and be we'll back. come back and, you can and i'll be me. back yeah <laughs> but it's the sense of the more you helps tr- a lot the more you try to push it away the bigger it gets yeah yeah, yeah but yeah. the more you Let embrace like if somebody like deals with the pressure, but it's like yeah this is a part of me i do it i'm gonna kind of befriend it like oh yeah there's that there's that crazy thought again there's that you know it's like you're watching cars on a highway there's that emotion there it mm. is but it's just a part of you that the telling it you appreciate it at first i was like whoa whoa yeah, hang yeah, on yeah, let's yeah. this is an enemy we don't we don't we don't give quarters to the enemy no, but, no, I but that does make you, sense now. you've got yeah. a job to do too right. your job is to torment me <laughs> relentlessly yeah. push me to the brink yeah. but in yeah. life how much more do you like honestly when i think of something i can't anytime you give compassion to something it does lessen the power yeah. of yeah. The yeah. resentment yeah. or sure. whatever it is it sure. just lessens the power yeah that is that is fantastic advice. This is great. This is I'm this having is great little therapy uh, session yeah. here. <laughs> While we're doing advice, totally drunk. <laughs> 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 All 
<laughs> on maple syrup. <laughs> Is it your wise, uh, you know, 50, drunk words? 50 years? <laughs> <laughs> the uh, while while we're doing wisdom, uh, where is your underwear at? Okay, I love that question. Okay, good. Because um, I'm, I'm in the market, and I just, every my, single... My favorite thing <laughs> is when you ask the question, he turned to me and goes, is there, something, is there something I don't know about? I didn't... No, did, you, did you post on social media about underwear or no, something? No, 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 no. Nope. Well, I did say a I did, I did <laughs> What's that. What's going on? Are you guys fucking with me? <laughs> no, dude. I, I had a hard time finding underwear this morning without a hole in it, and so I, I just well, need to revamp my I underwear. You about my closet. I, I plead and to Calvin Klein all the time. <laughs> I think I'm having... This kind of box. First of all, you got, right a t- you got a tan line. Did you like go to <laughs> K- Turkish? No, it's just kind of it just just stays right, on right, for right. a little while. <laughs> <laughs> Calvin Klein once made this boxer briefs that wasn't like um, everything now is like Under Armour, like moisture wicking mm. yeah, yeah, performance yeah. gear. Mm. And I'm like, I just want some cotton underwear, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And they discontinued them and they changed them a little bit. And I plead with them all the time to just go back. I also have a problem where I very big on the bottom <laughs> and I'm very disproportionate <laughs> brother let me tell you, you like, mean, are you talking like a tire it, on the kind stomach? of no it's it's actually my ass it's not even the hips <laughs> okay see I'm like a split pancake I got nothing <laughs> <laughs> me, me too I go back to legs baby yeah, you, yeah. You, <laughs> I kind of got a, a split <laughs> I am pushing I wear XL boxers uh-huh. and they're like Still very uncomfortable. I and I'm like, brother, saying, I can't. How wear. did you put that? I got like a heavy load. What did you say? Like I got a, a lot down, heavy load. Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm like. A, I thought you were also talking about like the front part. I was like, no, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, easy, man. <laughs> like, let's, <laughs> let's, let's okay no. talk about like <laughs> stuff Imagine like just casually like I just got a hammer in there, man. And it is just so. Distracting. You know how it goes. Uh, but, <laughs> no, I, the, but I just uh, can't have double XL underwear. Was my point. So anyway, but where do you get yours? <laughs> um, I I. I, I used to get it at Uniglo and I really liked Uniglo. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And my thing is I like I'm not a fan of that kind of what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. But I like I don't what I don't like is putting on underwear and then it loses its grip. Mm-hmm. And then it just becomes like almost like boxers but yeah, they're yeah. just kind of cu- like flapping. Like I used to wear boxers. I used to be yeah. staunchly like boxer briefs are weird. They're all tight on you. And then I made the switch over and then one time I had no other clean underwear so I wore boxers, not boxer briefs. I mean, it's like it's, it's like, like putting a, a tablecloth it's, down here. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. there's so much fabric <laughs> under my <laughs> pants. <laughs> like, what is all of do you this? Wanna, do you kind of want to move? I kind of um, I wonder if we should go back to if I should go back tidy to the whiteies. I might just start wearing a thong, <laughs> right, right. Well, that's, which I don't even understand that concept. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's tired of the it's panty lines. Like, <laughs> it's like floss. Of the, I mean, it's like yeah. what are you rubbing. I don't yeah. get it at all. But but yeah. but you know, if if you go from maybe it is a progression, so maybe we go to tidy whiteies <laughs> next. Yeah, I do think tidy whiteies. It keeps it in again. <laughs> a, again, as a uh, as you get older, I think more acceptable. You know, a tidy whitey. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. But that I seen Walter you know, White when you're a little kid. I see yeah, what, Walter White. Walter White was out there. What? He's yeah. probably mid fifties. You're probably right around yeah. time you can switch back. So, I stay in my clothes until it's time to go to bed. This guy I, will wear I, I like this. And I stay fully clothed in bed. <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, never like, it's, it's kind of a never ending yeah. debate with us where it's like Kevin gets home and just constantly like, puts on sweatpants right away. I, I go through the I, I through the doorway, shirt off, pants off. I'm in sweatpants within like. Legitimately 30 seconds. I will stay fully dressed because you don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> what if someone calls you and it's like, yo, you want to go out? Like, I, I just got to oh, oh, take you oh. to the game. Like, well, then great. I'll I have my clothes on already. Perfect. Pa- all right. You save 10 minutes <laughs> while you sit in, not even 10 minutes, in 30 seconds. 30 seconds. While yeah. you sit in uncomfortability and all that. But you've also got a six year old and a four year old. Like, you got to be comfortable. So, you know, it's funny is I have passed that on to them as well. So, I'm divorced. So, when I have the okay. kids, they are immediately like, when can I put on jammies? Oh. <laughs> I'm like, it's Saturday at like 2 p.m. and I was gonna take you mini golfing, but fuck it, <laughs> we're going mini golfing in our pajamas. I don't give a shit. Yeah, so, it's comfort. Yeah, I mean comfort over. It's also habitual, habitual. Like if, there, if there's mm. things that I've gotten used to, it's like it doesn't even matter if I don't want to do it anymore. It's just a part of my routine. Just put, just changing into that yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So wait, are you? Will you be a sweatpants guy at home, or will you wear like regular clothes? No, I'll be a sweatpants. Hell yeah. I'll be a sweatpants. Yeah. I just, I just got to the place where I used to always sleep with a t-shirt on because uh-huh. I kind of like got, I don't know, I was, I was always cold. Yeah. 
And then I turned an age where I started getting like hot in bed. And so now I, I, I sleep I, naked. I sleep. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. My wife would be like, put that back up. <laughs> get that out of here. <laughs> shoot, shoot, just get out no. of here. I'm sleeping without like a shirtless. And yeah. I love it. Oh my God. I'm like, why I, didn't I do this my whole life? I, I kind of went the opposite way. I always just slept in boxers. And then. Uh, I actually we, we sell merch here and I made great a, merch by the way. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You said you loved it. Uh, but one of the things I focused on, we had a guy who did barstool outdoors. He would hunt and mountain climb. All those mm. And I did barstool indoors, and I made a line of like basically loungewear pajamas. Mm. And they and they're so thin that I almost I wear them and it's just, it's like I don't even notice them. So all of a sudden yeah. I went from the opposite. I started wearing like long sleeve and pants. But my new shit. Did you see my tweet the other day about the uh, uh, the man? Man, like nightgown. Yo, I, I I bought one of these for my buddy for Christmas like two years ago. Does he wear it? He wears it all the time. It, like it's, a onesie. It's like, yeah, no, like, no, like, no, a, no. like a like a like a grandpa a nightgown, like a like a dress. Onesie. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I am in like full it. Scrooge. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah. I almost see one of those hats and I'll carry. Yeah, around like Charlie, candle. Charlie's grandfather. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. What about sleeping? And that's that's what I don't know though. Like I, I but I would walk around that in a second. Like a like a. I think sleeping in it's almost like that on top of a cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too much stuff. Yeah, but the but, freedom of like uh, walking around in that. I, I would love to like you know take the garbage out too. Like I'll I'm not gonna go out in public in that, but I do want to get outside. But you'd a start breeze, a movement where people little... would start to feel. The, yeah, there you go. Next I, thing you know, I was gonna man. say too. It's not. It's uh, I'm not. I'm not a slippery slope guy. But I think if you become a nightgown man, it's a slippery slope to sundress. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, you'd look stunning. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine I'm just twirling. Yeah. Kevin you know, comes May, in, sundress nice pair of Converse. What's up, girls? I'm like, like, all right, Kevin, we got to talk. Dude. You got to stop wearing dresses out. <laughs> I did once. I wore the uh, – the on TikTok, there was a pair of, like, stretchy leggings for girls that, was, that went viral of, like, these are the girls uh, – these are the pants that make your ass look great. Mm. And as aforementioned, I'm bigger on my lower half. You're talking about a lot. So I like, bought it these, sounds like uh, you're kind of proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> Got that cake back there, Tony. But I, I, I put on like the girl, like the magic TikTok uh, yoga pants and I was popping that thing. Yeah, yeah. I, thing. I think I sent a picture of like just my butt. Like nobody would know if it was a guy or a girl. <laughs> sent it around. People were like, oh, wow, look at that girl. <laughs> Gotcha, bitch. It's just me. Who's the real loser here, though? <laughs> what were those tights that that documentary was made of? Of like that the the hosiery where it was like a they oh, shoot it was on Netflix. The whole documentary. Yeah, it was like this movement where they had like all the t all those leggings that had like pictures on them and like all this stuff. Mm. But it was like a bad pyramid scheme. I don't know. Oh yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. One of those yeah. like yeah. an empire that came crashing. It wasn't. Down. Yeah. It all, wasn't all those. built on. All built um, on cake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, while we're asking you our, our inner debates, we have one more for you. Uh, are you bar soap or are you liquid soap? Ooh, this is a big one right now. Okay, this is let's let's break this down. Yeah, yeah, you're in. I'm full bar soap. Man, there we go, yes. Tony. Yes. You'd be surprised. Actually, what, what do we do? We do like a poll. It's we have the a least amount of effort. That's the thing. You always got to go back to the pump if it's liquid. It is, soap. A, and all, but also people say, oh, wait, 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 oh wait, we're, wait, we're, we're talking, talking about the shower. Right. Okay. 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 So, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. But if you're in the shower, yes. you're always da 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 da. Yeah. And then rub, rub, rub it on your body. Yes. But if you got a piece of soap, yeah, you you're just, just going, going all over the place. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. only then, argument I will make is dropping the soap sometimes can be a pain in the ass. But it can be a that, pain, but, but that's whatever, no that's fine. Going. And the container you put the soap in, it can slip off too much. So you got to find something yeah. with a grip. Yeah. yeah that yes. is very true. Yep. But the we actually looked it up. Gets you cleaner. Last longer gets you cleaner. You people have people were mentioning loofahs. First of all, on a body wash. Nowhere on the instructions would say get a loofah. Yeah, they just want. They it just, just it just says body wash. Yeah. So I never. Whenever I use body wash my whole life, I never used a loofah. I don't understand why you would need a loofah. I. You don't need a loofah if well, you're a soap be, guy. Because because the real argument that we were saying is bar of soap gets you clean. It's I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. A, a body wash is like you're just rubbing lotion on your body, and the body wash people say, well, you got to get the loofah to like suds it up and scrub you. It's like, well, that's probably because the product you're using doesn't really get you yeah you know it's like what? yeah if i took sandpaper and i just scrubbed it on me then it would it would get mm. the dirt off I, but i, I just use, use a bar dove, of soap a dove bar of soap strict dove guy and it is it is so far superior do you have a brand body wash uh you know, it's what, right there right yeah oh, oh it's, in, it's in my bag yeah this all came up because i went shopping for a bar of soap yesterday uh -huh. yeah. and uh and like, that's how podcasts work. i like that <laughs> cucumber smell some of them have that mm. cucumber. Well, well he's got yeah he's got the cucumber <laughs> where's my bag at yeah. <laughs> so, uh, i'll take the garbage because that was a genuine reaction I gotta get the cucumber out. I gotta get it out. 
There you go. Yep. Oh yeah, I know yep. that exact yeah. one. That yeah. color. Wow, you got the you got yep. the Costco pack. Yeah. And this this actually this is uh, I've got the twelve pack before. I got double this. Uh, Dove really, and you can smell it through here. Mm. It's great. <laughs> and this is actually your parting gift. You get some swag oh, yeah, and you yeah, get yeah. the Dove. Yeah. Well, he's Wait, no. Going. Yeah, yeah. I haven't had soap in three weeks. I finally remembered to go to Dwayne Reed. <laughs> Do you know what I don't like? Is this is a uh, and granted these are, this sounds like this is such a first world thing I'm saying. But when they put like a sandy texture in a soap mm -hmm. and it's supposed to exfoliate Sorry, your skin, yeah. I like I like a lot of foam and I like to go, yeah. but any, yeah. if anything that feels it's scratchy, yeah, yeah, I just yeah. don't understand And it's that. not enough that it's actually exfoliating. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's just like this. You're like, because I know exfoliating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've gotten so I get gay over <laughs> the uh, The the bar of soap is funny too because I'd be willing to bet uh, at some point I think this happens when you first go to college, mm. uh, but I think mm. every guy at some point when they are first on their own dorm, apartment, whatever, and it's time to go buy it, you buy Irish Spring Sport. Oh, yeah. That's like and the one. let me tell one. you, right, that smells on your body for like a week. Yeah. <laughs> it's you like a cologne. Shower it's not even soap. Literally. It's like a bar of cologne. <laughs> you walk in the bathroom and you're like, yeah, someone's there got Irish Spring that, going. That was because yeah, uh, it you, just you, suds up and like. Uh, I, I feel like a lot of guys in their high school, college phase, era have almost a bit of an Irish fetish yeah, where like yeah, everyone's I'm like, I'm Irish, yeah. I'm Irish, yeah, I'm Irish. Yeah, yeah. And then you hear an Irish accent in the commercial and you're like, this is the soap of my people. <laughs> <laughs> How could I possibly use well, anything no, else? It definitely to me was like, this is not <laughs> like, you know, girly. This is Irish Spring Sport. Yeah, you know, like, that guy's like, that guy's got a, a cable knit sweater on <laughs> and a skirt. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I got I got your next merch. Here's okay. your next merch. Ready? Do the soap on a rope. Uh huh. And then come bring a uh, 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 sell a hook with it. So the hook that you put on your shower wall just has so you, the. You don't have to. You don't have to put it on the wall platter, and it says bar. Whatever stool soap, <laughs> yeah, whatever, and put it on a rope. So and you just grab it, soap, and put it back, put on, it back on the hook. I forgot about soap on a Let's rope. Let's get a hook yeah. manufacturer so, on the line <laughs> right now, yeah. today. Yeah. Got a hook guy. Access. <laughs> don't have to worry about it slipping off. I you can't. Have to, like, I can't. Keep I can't look at you say the word hook without just thinking. <laughs> I'm a monster! You got a hook? Yeah. Actually, let's let's cross market. Yeah. That'd be amazing. <laughs> it's, 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 it's Buster's hook. I, 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 and, you, and you just go, I'm a monster! <laughs> I'm not much of a memorabilia guy at all, mm. but if I ever got like really like, rich, I, have I would buy you all over my body. <laughs> <laughs> I would buy Buster's hook oh, and yeah. like put it on the mantle. <laughs> Dude, what is that? In like, in like a, hook. a Beauty and the Beast yes, like, container. Yeah. <laughs> it's got this big glass. Take it thing. off. Like, Don't touch it. It's, it's, <laughs> I could just see my face with the hook in every shower. <laughs> it's like, Hello. <laughs> Give me your soap. <laughs> Give me your soap. <laughs> God. What a character, Buster. man! <laughs> we, I, I actually follow one of the like Bluth quotes accounts kind of uh -huh. deal, and they very, very recently. In fact, I think it was last night. They retweeted um, a screenshot of. Um, yeah, I'd be interested to know what you what you think of that. the. I'm gonna pull it up right now. It was the Bluth family intervention. Mm. And um, and it was it actually had a John Levin scene replied that said, "Was this your favorite scene to shoot?" And uh, he added you. You didn't reply. Will Arnett said, it's truly the hardest I've ever laughed in my li life. David Cross said, that was insane. I think I bruised my ribs from laughing so hard. What's the date on it? Uh, it's actually, um, what's the fourth? Well, the tweet it's just actually, happened it's like actually, yesterday. But the, the no, no, it's old. They retweeted oh, oh, old. It? Okay. It's, they're oh, from okay. 2020. It's 4-5-2020. So is, is the day remark off of, are there remarks it's, off it's, of? It's, it's, this is the screenshot. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is you talking to a 52-year-old man. <laughs> so who's remarking? <laughs> who's the man behind this machine? How are they talking to this picture? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is another thing I'm like. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so four, so like Will did it four five twenty. Does that mean he remarked on four five? Yeah, fucking with me right yeah. now. No, why you keep saying why you keep saying remark? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did he, he communicated. <laughs> he communicated Did through he the phone. Talk back to this picture <laughs> on, <laughs> on May four or April fourth. Yeah. They, they so have to read. They so young people, why, <laughs> why did they do this? Why did they put this out? Here? <laughs> Dude, you're pretty active why, on Twitter. Why is this happening? Why is this not happening? I've gotten more active on the Insta. So, so somebody just, you know, for whatever reason, who's is a the, fan of your show. Like who's the last comment? Uh, David Cross, right? 
Yes, correct. Yeah. So, then, so th th uh, I don't even want to know if I want to introduce this. This is a screenshot from Twitter. So we're not actually on Twitter right now. When you say we're screenshot. <laughs> It's taking someone's screen and shooting it on that machine. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Um, so, but I so guess, wait, I, I so genuinely want. I genuinely want to ask. So, like, if they. Oh wait, hold on. If the last comment was that date, it's just a screenshot of this conversation yes. back then. What, and then what they happened was it. the blue right. somebody the blue account it up I recently. follow retweeted it last night. Right. Just just by happenstance. A screenshot of the conversation. They screenshot. They retweeted, retweeted, retweeted the conversation. Yeah, and I was like, oh, like Tony Hale's coming in tomorrow. This is like a great. This is a great question uh, to ask. Great. If it's I do if, remember that scene. Yeah. What? Because we we just watched it before you came in, and it was funny, but like, but not that funny. Right. But then, <laughs> but it does. No, no. But it, it, I would never have guessed that. These guys would be like, that was the funniest thing uh -huh. we ever saw. But at the very end, it does have a clip of you just banging on the piano, <laughs> and, and he's like dancing like that. So I was wondering if that, like, did that go on for like ten minutes, and you cut it down and edited, it, but like behind the scenes, was it a fiasco? I, I think because I just did Smartless podcast. Oh, did you? Uh, uh, the, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, the, and they they mentioned this scene, and I think it's because David Cross started to go off the rails. Like, yeah, he just <laughs> completely lost it, and Jason and Will are in the back laughing. <laughs> yeah. But I'm I was in such a nervous state back then. I was just like, keep going, <laughs> keep going. I, I can't mess up. I'll lose my job. Were you really like nervous even like oh, in those I was moments? So I, the whole. First two and a half seasons, really? I was a mess. Was that mm. just because it was like one of your first big gigs and you like it around was, such I great was, talent and stuff? Well, like I was dealing with that kind of like just not knowing what to expect being on a show and stuff like that. But I was just, I'd never been on a lot. I had never had wow. really, much, I never, so you kind of remember zero thinking, to 100 on this one. And I remember thinking, do I need to take some of this food home? Because <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to have, like, if there's going to be food tomorrow. Wow. Like, it was that sense of, I just didn't understand set life, and mm -hmm. it was very serious about, I would go home and practice Buster sure. in front of a mirror. Which is so funny, because it's like, it's your job, and you got to take it seriously, but obviously it's patently ridiculous. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah. But it was fun. I just I was just like, just keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is your favorite, uh, by the way, how many writers, like, in general, I mean, I'm sure there's, like, individual episodes, but, like, mm -hmm. is there accredited like four or five writers or something is there like mm. a number of like, like uh, how many people write wrote about arrested development yeah. is my question i would say in the room there was probably about 10 10 and then God, I those think, have to be the 10 smartest funniest fucking people oh in man the world. so it's funny so brilliant. like every like next 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 level crazy and so dense yeah like so like you can watch many it jokes 100 times and you pick up something new the, my favorite is the uh, one of my favorites is the blue man group and he thought it was a group for depressed men yeah, yeah. it's the best <laughs> i was going to say I mean, is that is that your favorite that's mm -hmm. one of them i think Lucille for me oh. and Lucille is very funny and the best line was Jessica Walters saying she says uh, buyers Buy a banana. How much can it be? Ten dollars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. The yeah. c word is also unbelievable. Oh, c word. I'll leave when I'm good, good and ready. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she does it to herself. It's so, <laughs> so good. Uh, so solid good. as Iraq too. Yeah. Uh, Iraq uh, is. I mean, there's mm. so many. Mm. Like you could. And when we were being canceled, all the jokes about uh, like the, the home builders home organization, <laughs> organization at Showtime. All yeah. That uh, when you guys would like break the fourth wall and look at the camera and be like, go watch. <laughs> yes, <laughs> seriously, tell your friends to watch the show. <laughs> yeah. Such a tragedy, and Fox man. kept, I mean, allowed all that, which I get yeah. a lot well, of Yeah, well, because they were like, it. we're fucking cutting them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Let these losers yeah. go down that, with the ship. That's like in a show when you see like a kidnapped person being like, please, you don't have to do this. Like, I'm going to kill you anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> do what you want. Yeah. Got it. Well, it helps it you is. pass the time in there. <laughs> it's so, uh, it's if fun. there was ever an example of like, uh, I don't even know what kind of I remember what lesson you, to learn, but it's just like great. It was gr it was great greatness. It, it was, was like great truly comedy. greatness, and that isn't enough. Like fuck this world. I, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> you're gonna be the most brilliant, the funniest, the best looking, the what you know. And there oh, still yeah. might be some. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just talking about Tony Hale, folks. Exhibit A, uh, <laughs> cakeless <it> wonder. <laughs> I, I genuinely think that like that arrested is one of the things that because I, I was when, when was it I was uh, I was pretty young yeah okay settle down <laughs> uh, early two thousands so easy trick <laughs> uh, it was like, like yeah it was two thousand three to two well yeah, three to six. six yeah so mm -hmm. I think that was like I was probably thirteen. And like, I remember my uncle sitting me down and being like, "You got to watch this show." Mm. And I think that's what got me into not e not even just television, but like comedy Watching television. I'm also curious, stuff. like other people's, because I just miss. I, there's so many jokes I didn't get to like 20 years later. Yeah, yeah. Do you like watch 
episodes when you're on, on the loop. show. <laughs> right. It's, it's all, all my daughter. Like you do your scene and yeah. then that's it. And then when the episode airs, the series uh, season airs, do you watch it? Yeah, I yeah, watch it then, and I typically don't watch it again. Which is mm. crazy, because there are so many jokes. And you there's should. so many jo- Because of that, I don't... I, this is a story I told on that podcast, but it's like that joke about when I lose my hand to the seal, when my, mm. the seal eats off my arm, and the doctor says he's going to be okay. I thought he said he's going to be okay. Right. And I was like, ha, 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 funny. But it, the joke is he's going to be all right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he yeah. has a right yeah. hand. Yeah. Yes. I, I didn't get that till right. 15, like 15 years later. Really? really? Doing a podcast. That doctor is one of the best bit yeah, doctors Ian, ever, too. Ian, uh, like, you son Roberts. of a bitch. She's always like going <laughs> yeah. after him. The, uh, yeah, I said he's going to yes. be all right. His left hand is <laughs> gone. Yeah, Ian <laughs> was one of the four founders of UCB. Oh, oh wow. really? That doctor. Him, yeah, so like everybody Matt Walsh, 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 Matt Walsh you know, it's not just and the stars. It's like every bit character even is brilliant. The... um. What, what, you know what I, what I like doing is, is I when I see it I, this happens the most to me with Seinfeld but with the rest it happens a lot too where I see your bit in a newer sitcom where it's like oh mm. shit and it not it's not necessarily oh, stolen yeah. but it's kind mm. of like a and, and this one actually the one that <coughs> sticks out the most to me is very similar I, I wouldn't say it's stolen but maybe it is who knows um, is when uh, when um, Tobias he's talking about how he hasn't slept with. Um, What's, what's Portia's name? Uh, uh, Lindsay. Lindsay. Hasn't slept with Lindsay in, in so long, and, and just, uh, Jason Bateman's like, why? And he's like, well, I don't want to say 9-11, but it didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, he's like, well, 9-11 certainly didn't help things. <laughs> <laughs> I, by the way, I have never heard that. <laughs> I have never heard that. I, that missed me completely. <laughs> But then that is so. <laughs> and then oh many many years later, it happened. It comes up in the office oh, where like so Ryan good. is talking about why he cheated on Kelly or whatever, mm-hmm. and he like lists he has, he has two things, and then he ends it with. And I don't think I ever really processed nine eleven. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, that's David Cross. And, and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. How it, about this? I got a business mm-hmm. idea. How about how, we, well, we it saw, can't be better than soap on a rope? But we, okay. see, <laughs> we saw it with the office. We we mm. see the um, always sunny guys doing it. We watch. We do a rewatch mm. and we do a podcast about Arrested Development, just so I can learn my own show. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. how we'll funny, teach you about it. <laughs> yeah, watching watching you react to things that like you didn't even realize <laughs> my, as my a fan would be like oh my god Tony just got the joke 10 years right. later it's amazing wait, wait till we tell you about Veep my, <laughs> <laughs> my fear is I'd be watching it and I'd look to you and I'd go I don't remember that yeah, yeah. Like, I don't even remember shooting that Listen, that's what's crazy that was, I'm, I, I, saying, I'm sure that podcast. We, we say that all the time and obviously we were talking about complete different levels of entertainment but like we always say all the time we walk out of the podcast like what the hell are we saying there like, I don't even uh, I don't have a clue oh I forget the podcast happened. immediately Immediately after it, and or and even, but even um, you won't, fans you won't will, forget, you won't forget this one. No, this no, one, no, this okay, is burned ingrained. in my brain, man. <laughs> Great, uh, mm. but when fans, uh, you'll probably get this all the time, where it's like, yours are probably, I guess, maybe a little more memorable. Fans will say to me, like, do you remember that tweet that one time? And I'm mm. like. I probably sent literally a hundred thousand tweets in my life. Like, I know I did not, but I Do guess you maybe. have. Um, I I think it's this is why I'm not on the Twitter much, <laughs> but I think I have a like. Uh, like brain, perf- I think <laughs> no, I think I have like an anxiety of not necessarily what yeah what to put out, but like I think it about it too much. Yeah, yeah. And I, then yeah. by the by the time I'm thought I'm like I'm not. You're done with it. Yeah, yeah. that's probably smart. Yeah. I find I get myself. Oh, in you think about things think. before you say them to <laughs> yeah. the world. Yeah, <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> I I grip it and rip it, man. I'll just, you know, I just let it fly, and then I'm like whoop. Yeah, <laughs> should have said that. <laughs> but at least there's a happy medium of like not I overthink it and then just end up doing nothing. I remember mm. I got in trouble once uh, for um, slander or libel, whichever one's written. Slander, I think. <laughs> mm. And um, I, I wrote a headline. This that, is a long time ago. Yeah, this is like forever ago. There was this guy in Jersey City. He um, the story was that he like won the lottery, mm-hmm. but he lost the ticket and was just asking New Jersey to like give him the money anyway. 
Mm. And this guy just had the creepiest look in the whole world. Mm. And instead of saying, and this is all rude, I shouldn't have said any of this, but I said he looks, instead of saying he looked like a pedophile, I just said Ouch. the word pedophile. Uh -huh. and, uh, and the reason why it was just funny though, thinking about not thinking about things, somebody in the comments said like, you're gonna get sued for this. And I replied to that and I said, shut up, you pussy. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. and then we got sued <laughs> hardcore <laughs> for it. Mm. Uh, but like, I, as far as, thinking about things like this is how and that but it's was also you know, a lesson of like 12 15 years ago so now you know I, before i send anything yeah of course and then and then you know what it becomes not funny once you start thinking or whatever yeah. whatever your point was it's like well if i'm thinking this much about it it clearly isn't really and the power of work i mean there's like crazy i have to remember there's a tremendous power of, in words mm -hmm. you know and our it goes both ways like our society doesn't realize putting stuff out there but they also don't realize um S like in Hollywood, people will say a lot of stuff and they it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's almost a lot like of power of that, what you did, mm -hmm. and realizing that lesson. And then like just no, words just meaning nonsense. nothing. Just gobbledygook. Nonsense, gobbledygook just to make somebody feel good, which is yeah. like the, 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 what you should not do to them. When you yeah. see like... We, Twitter, we've like, definitely gotten more of that sure, as we've yeah, gotten yeah. more corporate around here where it's uh, like... Yeah. It's like, all right, you walk out of a meeting, you're like, that sounded great. And you're like, none of that's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can't tell you. I was like, not only will that plan not happen, those people won't be here in six months. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is a, you know, get out of here. But also, yeah, that just that the nonsense talk, or it's like a Twitter thread, like, my thoughts, like one of 23 tweets, like, I, you know, we're not, we're not reading any of this. Stop. Guys, hey. I'm joining the club. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going through it. Yeah. <laughs> we put down waters. It gets I hot in here. It gets we, hot in we here. We get like a yeah. couple pallets delivered at the beginning of the month mm. and we've grown in size and I think we probably have. By the way, how many people do you think work here? Total? Yeah. In, in this building. 300? 400. We crossed the 400 threshold. Wait, hold on. Is this something you guys started? We were or a part of the very, early on. very yeah. early. Dave early Portnoy on. is like the the founder of it. He was in Boston, and then the original idea was to expand into like other cities. Uh -huh. Everyone worked from home, kind of like a little satellite city uh -huh. situation. Uh -huh. And uh, the first expansion was to New York, and that's what I started. And he was like my first hire, if you will. On and when what year was this? Oh nine. I bet it's so inspiring to watch how it's grown for you guys. It is. It, it, it can be frustrating too because it can also be like. It, uh, to be like perfectly honest, like it's it's you, it it loses its essence. Where you're kind of like sure. ah man, like and, but like, like anything, little... you romanticize. Like, I'm sure you romanticize, mm -hmm. wondering yeah. if you should take a food home from the lot. And yeah, 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 in yeah. reality, your life is much better now. Yeah. But yeah. there's like there was something fun about that struggle and yeah. uh, you know. But also the power of the simple. Yeah. You know things. Our world looks at where you've gotten and where people get is like oh my god, that's the ultimate da da da. But there's a tremendous. It's great, but mm -hmm. like there's a lot of power in the simple and definitely and, and like and and, and, and not even stuff. it's the um, like it was like five guys in the beginning, mm -hmm. you know, five people made this whole thing, and now there's four hundred and God bless them. There's a lot of great people, and <clears throat> we couldn't make all this money if we didn't mm -hmm. have all of this. But you know that also comes with like meetings and mm. and uh, training and all these corporate mm. things and I'm like this, I start we started this to get away mm. from that shit <laughs> yeah. 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 long enough was it in your house did you do it in your house I I uh, so well when I first I, I started out I was an accountant and I was at my desk at work doing blogging and accounting but then mm. when I when I went full time on barstool I was working I've worked out of my parents place my place my mm. i was sharing my daughter's nursery at one point was also my like mm. desk uh so we've done it from you know everywhere mm. um but then yeah we all came under one roof when things like really kind of blew up mm. so it was, it was cool how's, it, how's fatherhood by the way right now oh uh, it is right now is probably uh my favorite Aww. because so like i think i i actually haven't talked about this in the podcast yet i think i had the greatest day fatherhood day maybe of all time Aww. certainly for myself but yeah. in the morning uh my son we went to t-ball and mm. he hit two home runs which were just <laughs> balls that go in the air <laughs> they don't hit the ground and they just go up in the air yeah, yeah, yeah. and he he's pretty good so he's hitting it like harder than the other kids so he's very proud of himself Aww. he got two home runs and then we came home and uh we played do you do you know zelda the video game at all i know that i've heard of it yeah, yeah so he, it's a very adult game and he's yeah, five yeah. and somehow he picks up those sticks and he yeah, can just, yeah, yeah. and he beat so he wouldn't be asking questions about screenshots <laughs> <laughs> Man. But why do they remark on this <laughs> i heard remark more what times than that <laughs> what is zelda remarking <laughs> <laughs> 
so he beat Zelda, and it was uh. actually very funny. He was about to lose, and he pressed pause, and he started to cry. Oh. And he, he was like, oh. and he goes, it, it's just that my eyes hurt. My eyes uh. just hurt. That's all. Uh. And he, so he wins that. So it was home runs. He beats Zelda. Mm. Uh, we went mini golfing, and then I took my daughter horseback riding. Oh. And then we watched Hocus Pocus 2 at the end of the night. <laughs> oh, yeah. We had watched Hocus Pocus 1 the night before. So uh. I had the greatest, like, 24 hours ever. Uh. and Because it, it's at the point where they uh, can, like, yeah. have their own opinions yeah, and do their yeah, own things. Yeah. And they're, they're yeah. you know, not totally... Totally useless. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But just, you know, that's going to be solidified in there. Yeah, in, their, yeah. in their heart, in their soul. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I really powerful. So. That's the plan. And then I think I probably have a couple more years before they're like, shut up, dad. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. I'm going to get rid of my friends. You know? yeah. Mine's almost 17. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. You are old, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Is it, yeah, there's more and more, like, proof of yeah. my <laughs> <laughs> so it's coming out. You're like, oh, yeah, I do see that gray on the side. Yeah. <laughs> Is that... Uh, um, mm. College yet, or is that junior year? It's junior year. So yeah. we're, we're thinking about college. She's colleges? driving now. She driving. just started in LA. But now you can track him on an app. <laughs> 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 but now you can follow him. Which is great. Uh, I can know how fast uh, she's on her phone or on uh, the car? Uh, you have like a Tesla that like If anybody knows how to track on the car, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, but it's the phone. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I know how fast she's going on this app. Wow. Really? But in L I will say, as much as people say, oh, L.A., the highways, there's so much traffic. You're not going more you're than not, two miles an hour. You're, not, you're yeah. not going fast. So was that something that she, you did and she was like, fuck you, dad? Or it was just like, uh, you know, does, does she even know what's happening? She won't use that language around. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good. You're raising well. <laughs> I, I still don't curse around my parents. I, 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 I'm in that camp. I think it's like the other day my dad because I know I know I'm sure she does with her. I mean, obviously she does with her friends. I did it with my friends, but it's like I don't. It's a it doesn't need to be in the house. My dad group sh sent a group text, a group remark to our uh, to the family because he doesn't know what he's doing with the phones, <laughs> mm -hmm. and he meant to just send it to my mom. Cut to and him and I having coffee <laughs> like two hours from now, <laughs> talking about to each other. <laughs> what your what color is your machine? <laughs> What is, that talk box? Remark. what is your <laughs> No, you remark. You remark, Tony. Okay, I'll remark. <laughs> oh my god. But anyway, um, he cursed and he he apologized to the like the whole family. He was like, I'm oh, so sorry for that. He, oh, yeah, he went to yeah, my sister yeah. and he was really like, Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I mm -hmm. will say, like doing this kid show, which I love. It's a very different <laughs> change from beep. Like, uh, yeah. I bet. I because bet. when you make a mistake, things can fly, and then you forget, like, oh, there's a 12-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> and I got I to gotta be careful. Yeah, yeah. so this is, uh, what, the, the Mysterious, Mysterious Benedict Society. So Society. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, t tell me about this. What, yeah. What's so, um, so it's based on this children's book by Trenton Stewart, and which your kids, probably in a few years, they'll, they, they'll get yeah. into. And what I, what I really like about this show a lot is these kids, I mean, I like the superpower show, I like the Marvels, but these kids' superpowers are their intellect, their creativity, cool. and their empathy. Cool. And we solve all these puzzles, and I play twins. I play kind of a good brother and like a bad brother. Well, and you get paid twice. <laughs> you hear that? Um, and the first season when there was this crazy adventure where the bad twin was doing this stuff, but this season, the bad twin reinvented himself as a self-help guru selling happiness and has tricked the whole That's world. I say, he's a, a snake oil salesman. That yeah. is. And it's a really, really, really great message to me. What I see is this difference between artificial happiness and yeah. authentic sure, happiness. Sure, sure, sure. That's very And just cool. especially online, there's just this like quick happy fix and happiness, man, goes through all the emotions. It walks yeah. through stuff. You fail through it and all that kind of stuff. Definitely. But he's selling, like, perfection and all that kind of Definitely. stuff. This is almost exactly what we started the episode talking about with, like, the children's books. Like, that's a great <laughs> message that I probably need to learn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Me too. I, I probably need to get that. Like, that dopamine hit you get from a retweet doesn't mean anything. I, it's superficial happiness. Yeah. I was <laughs> yes. just mm -hmm. watching, like, a viral TikTok, like, this morning. I wish I could remember where it was because it was saying that. It was, like... You need to be able to distinguish. You're talking about the board game TikTok, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a metronome. It's a TikTok, TikTok. It's a okay, clock, great. right? Great. Um, well, I'll be looking for those three X's or the three O's. <laughs> I think it was very, uh, the, the message at the end was very Zen, Nirvana, Buddhist, Hindu, whatever. It was like happiness is the mm. lack, the, the absence of chasing the happiness is when you're actually happy. You know yes. what I mean? Because yes. it was very much everything you were saying too about what's next. Because then we, we, we get that dopamine. 
Oh, and that yeah, the real he said dopamine is mm. just a chemical that wants more dopamine. Mm. So your do dopamine is drug. Never, dopamine no. is never going to say, mm. okay, you made it to Arrested Development. We're good. Mm. You know, mm. dopamine mm. just wants more and more and more. And the mm. happiness is when you let like let go of that. You know, mm. get rid of dopamine, which is hard. Yeah. It's a lifelong. I mean, journey. it is like a drug. It is like an addiction. It yeah, is yeah like it a, is. Yeah, yeah. Um, that so is, that is depressing. But also, we've been trained to think that it's like you're lazy if you're content. If you're like, I'm really happy with my life right now. Yeah. I think I, I remember I read an article about by a kid. Um, I think it was actually an article. It was a tweet thread by uh, Jay Caspian King, who's a New York Times writer, and um, he was kind of basically saying like. I wish someone had taught me when I was younger mm. that I didn't have to chase my dreams. Where he's like, <laughs> he's like, because like, I wanted to be a New York Times writer mm -hmm. and, and I made it and this is great, but I really would be happier if I was just home surfing. Mm -hmm. And like, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. Working in the surf shop and like, that's mm -hmm. not Hell something yeah. that you have to be embarrassed about. Mm -hmm. like you stayed in your hometown and worked at a, at a surf shop. Mm -hmm. You can be like, yeah, well, this, just, this is what makes me happy. So why can't I do it's this? A th it's the same thing when you're on your deathbed because all we're all going to die. This is all fleeting. You sooner than us because you're only <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, exactly. We'll see. <laughs> uh, but like, you think so when you get in your deathbed, like what are you, what are you yeah. gonna value? And it's these days you had with your kids. Right. And it's all these memories you probably have with friends. Like sure. it's like, that's That value. was depressing right there. <laughs> you know, your kids and I assume you have friends or something. <laughs> do you have kids? No, dude. Well, I thought you knew, you, no, had you, knew. No, you, you hadn't mentioned you them. Knew. And I would've got a freaking forky voiceover if you had kids. <laughs> <laughs> what if I did it? What if I did it for him? And you'd be like, my kids are fine. <laughs> they actually saw it. They hated Forky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, I'll tell you, you what know, that is going to you know do. Your though. kids and like you shop it for underwear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. When you took a horseback riding in the soap shopping. <laughs> You are cutting me down pretty accurately right here. No. You are so full of life, man. It's so obvious. I'll tell you what, that, that recording will open the door. Knowing my kids, they're going to be like, well, where's Buzz Lightyear's uh, voice? And where's yeah, this yeah, voice? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 the yeah. dopamine's going to just want more and more and more. They're totally. not going to just be like, wow, this totally. is a very nice thing. Totally. But that was very cool. I really do appreciate it. So uh, the Mysterious Benedict Society is on Disney+. Disney Plus. Uh, it's out. Season two is out now, so you can go binge season one and catch up on season I'm gonna, two. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna watch. I don't usually watch children's shows, sure. <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> um, but I am going to watch it, and I'm going to learn some good lessons from this. Disney Plus yeah, is great. Yeah, and actually, and also, what's the name of the book? Uh, I'll, I'll just I'll say Archibald's next big thing. Archibald's it was a next long, big thing. long time ago, but it's like a, it's a sweet little book. I yeah, think I'd like cool. to read that as well. Mm -hmm. um, and before we let you go, we were doing favorite lines. Favorite line from Veep. <sighs> it doesn't have to be yours. Well, I, I would, say <laughs> <laughs> I would say what I was called. What I it was one of my favorite was was a bitchy mime. <laughs> <laughs> the insults in Veep. I was gonna say my, my if if you were I mean I'm sure there's some brilliant line that I you know I'm over like missing and I and it's probably better than this but the Jonah Ryan insults oh my God. the cloud Dude. whisperer I think it no, is the, the, the sky raper. Sky raper. <laughs> <laughs> but also how do you not take that personally? Because Especially it's also with, just yeah. him as a person. He would like, say he would say like sometimes I'm like because one one of them was like you got an odd shape. <laughs> And then he was also called. He was also called Frankenstein, and Frankenstein was made entirely of dead dicks. <laughs> my my favorite one of him is is, and I forget his uncle's name, um, but when he is finally running for congressman, and and it's I think it's the opening of an episode, uh, or at least like from a cold cut, and it's just him being like, dude, being a congressman is sick, man. I'm eating so much pussy. I'm shitting clits, son. Ooh. And then, and then his uncle grabs him and he goes, "This is an elementary school, you animal!" And it zooms out and he's in like a fifth grade classroom. <laughs> and the way you did his uncle, <laughs> yeah, is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, ah! What a cast elementary that school, was, you man. animal. <laughs> that was Peter. Oh man, he's been around. I forgot his name. Oh, he was fantastic. He was. Oh, he's was so was good. Great, dude. Oh, uh, last thing. W was it Will Arnett talking about David Cross? Uh, oh, or yeah. Drugs? So I actually just read Bob Odenkirk's uh, <laughs> memoir, um, mm. comedy, 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 drama. Mm. Very, very good. But in it, he mentions at one point that you know him and David Cross are writing partners for mm. I don't know, decades now, and how uh, David Cross was always always hassling him to do drugs with him. <laughs> and he said he finally uh, conceded. He said this in the book. Yeah, he conceded one time in Amsterdam. They did. Uh, they ate. Uh, 
Mushrooms? Uh, no, uh, weed brownies, I think. Uh-huh. And uh, I'm just wondering if David Cross I was, was say, someone's had, doing was such an evil influence on yourself. <laughs> I, I'm fa- again, my age. I'm fascinated by these mushrooms. Is it like a <laughs> like a dry? <laughs> it's, do you just? I can answer yeah, for no. you. Yeah, they're pretty dry. Yeah, they're pretty dry. <laughs> they're a little freeze dried. But capsule. you got. Anyways, we can get to a whole conversation. I, that's I do not understand. But do, you said, do I smoke weed? I or said, well, I said David, Cross David Cross. Ever... Did, was he such an influence on yourself? Uh, as a person. As, yeah, as, oh, you know, oh, as such an like a drug influence. Yeah, no, yeah. No, was no, he no. like, come on, come on, let's go out. He let's could go have been time. smoking weed the entire. I would have no clue. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always that guy that catches on later. Like, whoa, really? You know, he was they high. Were, you, yeah. they were doing like weed, <laughs> doing the weed. There was this. There was this. That explains those this, remarks. <laughs> I told this story um, on some talk show, but I went to this great restaurant in Raleigh called um, Union Special. And they gave me a T-shirt that said "Waking and Baking," mm-hmm. and I thought in my literally, I thought in my head, I was like, "Well, I, I, You're baking I, I like bread, <laughs> I like I like baking." No way! So I not wore that, that old dude. Uh, I wore that T-shirt. I'm not kidding. For like two years, <laughs> I, I wore it to drop my daughter off to school. Yes, I wore yes. it to church. Get out of town! Yeah. Nobody, and nobody, nobody, your nobody said, I guess. Hey, and dude. then finally, I was my buddy Michael comes up to me and he goes, and he he I work I do this Orange Theory class, and he's a he's an instructor. And he goes, hey, Tony, last night you did a little... And I was like, what? What are you talking about? I have no idea what he was talking about. I had no idea it was about the weed. Come (laughs) on. That's unbelievable. Nobody better than you, man. It's really sad. It's endearing, I think. Yeah. In this this way. (laughs) Cut to me getting jokes like 20 years off my own shows. (laughs) (laughs) All right, brother. Thank you so much for the time. Thank you so much, Tony. It's an absolute blast as always. Make sure you subscribe to KFC Radio on YouTube to get all the video content. Uh, subscribe, comment, like, and make sure you turn on the bell notifications so you know whenever new video content drops. I want to say something, but the video has to be fast, so that's it.